What's up, my shiny tech friends? I'm Brad here with Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on this week's show, I'm going to go ahead and set up this Asus AX1800 router, which is a Wi-Fi 6 router, and then go ahead and run some tests on it. Let's check it out. So I went ahead and plugged in the ASUS router and powered it on for the very first time. And here you can see the welcome screen that I got to by just typing in any domain name into the URL bar at the top in which it went ahead and redirected over to router.asus.com. If this does not show up for you, you can just go ahead and type in router.asus.com and it should take you over to the installation wizard. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a new network. Here I'm going to go ahead and create a network name. And if I go ahead and check this box, it will go ahead and allow me to be able to use a different SSID name for both 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. Now here we can see that the browser wants to go ahead and create an actual secure password. But just for this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up as something super simple and unsecure. Do not try this at home. And that's the password. Don't do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on apply. So on this screen here, it's asking if we want to enable Wi-Fi 6 or not. Since I do have Wi-Fi 6 devices, then I'm going to leave this checked. If you do not have any Wi-Fi 6 devices, then you could uncheck this. Now it is nice that they have links over for drivers to be able to download the latest drivers for most of the Wi-Fi 6 wireless chipsets directly on this page. You got Intel, MediaTek, and Realtek. Here we are going to go ahead and define the login administrator account for this. So I'll just do not admin and the totally insecure password from before. Then I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's nice that Asus goes ahead and knows that it's not running the latest version of firmware and it wants to update it automatically here. We will go ahead and tell it to upgrade the firmware now. So now it has finished downloading the firmware and we are going to go ahead and click next. It's going to step us through the setup process again. Right, so now it went ahead and kicked us out to the original login page since it is now set up. All right, so now the router is already basically set up. And if you want to, you can actually come into here and go into some advanced settings and configurations through these other various menus. Now I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from ethernet and connect over Wi-Fi and test out the speeds. So now that I'm on Wi-Fi, I'm going to go ahead and test the internet speed and see how fast this Wi-Fi is. Now I pay for fake Gigablast or DOCSIS 3.1, which is around 900 megabits down and 35 megabits up. 518 megabits down is not too bad for Wi-Fi. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can tune it for the best performance. So here I'm going to go ahead and just copy CentOS locally onto my machine from my server, which has a 10 gigabit uplink on the network. Now the transmission will be bottlenecked at 1 gigabit speeds to the ASUS router and then bottlenecked again by the throughput of the Wi-Fi 6 connection. And we can see here it's pretty much capping out at about 36 megabytes per second. So now I've connected back to my non-Wi-Fi 6 access point, which is the Ubiquiti SHD, and I'm going to copy the same file again and see what the performance is without Wi-Fi 6. Here I'm going to enable Wi-Fi Agile Multiband. Because I enabled that, then protected management frames also has to be enabled. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. 
Now I'm running speed test again with the new settings from the router applied. I'll do another test using a different server and see if it differs at all. Now we're copying the file again and I'm seeing a massive increase in the speed of the copying of the file. But maybe I spoke too soon. Or not. Seems like it peaks out at about 45 megabytes per second. As you can see, there is some significant difference in just by changing a couple of settings within the router itself to get better performance over Wi-Fi 6. Now, of course, your mileage will vary based upon your hardware configurations and both the machines connecting to the network as well as which particular Wi-Fi 6 router that you have or access point. Now, I've got something for the shiniest of my tech friends here on the channel today. So this here, this is a Supermicro motherboard with two Intel Xeon E5-2680 processors in it. Now I'm giving this away to viewers on my channel and I'm willing to pay shipping within the United States. If you're outside of the United States, as long as you help with the shipping or pick up the difference, then I don't mind sending it to you. Now something about this board, it is not a plug-and-go board. This was given to me by a buddy of mine and uh, it had some issues and he ended up just replacing it altogether. Uh, it could have been bad RAM, it could have been a bad processor, uh, or it could even be just a bad board. So if this is something that you could use and you have the additional hardware and technical abilities, I'd love to be able to send this out to you to be able to play with. And again, if this is something that you could actually use, go ahead and drop me an email in the subject, go ahead and say, I like that shiny motherboard and send it to brad at shinytechthings.com. But before you do that, go ahead and slap that like button and click on subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to tell all of your friends and like-minded shiny tech people that you know about this channel. Test. Test, test. Okay. What's up, shiny friends?